Ok, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking. Good evening. I wanted to show you the update of my work on the one purse mother, and I did a new one because I saw that what was very important is to have a very, very strong magnetic field. That's why I have stacked five pairs of this. Neomag, very strong, 42N and a very thin coil as you can see here the space between the coil and the magnet is very thin only one millimeter uh, I have made some modifications that this one the coil is oval coil, it's not a square coil and the magnets are also organized something in V to be much more in direction of the center of the rotor. The rotor is now as one piston motor and on the other side is only counterweight and very heavy counterweight so it is as a flywheel. It is one rotor and one flywheel all together. Okay? Now something very important. I did here under, as you can see, there is two oval sensors, one here and one here. And as you can see on the black metal sheet, the motor is turning that way, right? So, there is here a first hole, this one here, and when the motor turns, as you can see, now the rotor the whole sensor is going on the magnet. At this time, it charge the capacitor. Okay? Now, at this time, it doesn't charge the capacitor, it is finished. And the other small magnet goes on the second hole and give all the power of the capacitor. I repeat it. The motor is turning down. Now, Charging, stop charging, capacitor is full, and second magnet goes on the second hole, discharge capacitor. All the rest is free. You understand? And for that, I have made the double circuits. I show you now, so small lead here. I go, come back. On the left lead, tack, charge the capacitor. Stop the capacitor, charge, uh, discharge uh, the capacitor here in the motor power, discharge. All the rest is free. I redo it. Okay. Charge the capacitor, stop, discharge the capacitor, stop. Okay. And now I can make this motor here work with a very small capacitor. I was very astonished. With 24 volts, this small 470... I cannot see if it... 470, sorry it is inverted. Microfarad and 50 volt. Okay, let's try to see if it goes. Just something different. These two circuits has to be powered by two different battery. If you try to make the same, it will not work. But I will show you uh, circuits in the next video. Okay, so now we put the power on 24 volt, and you will see it will be a very slow acceleration, but very progressive the speed is going back and we go now to the ah you see on the oscilloscope what happened in the coil the coil is only 1.2 ohms resistance ok 
Okay, stop the scope. Motor oil is turning very, very nicely. We have now hundred and uh, hundred milliamps. Very nice. Now I will take the speed of the rotor here. It's not the right speed now. Sorry, voilà. now we are at it. 1,492 RPM. Very nice, isn't it? With only this power. I will break something. And the MEMS goes up but very slowly. I have very strong torque. I think now I could make a very good pony break. Okay. I'm very happy with this new setup. And as you can see this coil here. Imagine that I make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven all around. Each time one pulse per RPM could be very good, isn't it? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good night and thanks for watching.